Hello everyone. I just wanted to create a quick video that will serve as an overview for the next upcoming tutorial videos that I'm working on. It's going to be a few weeks in the making since they are quite elaborate. I explore everything from creating storyboards to building the animatic from those storyboards and then creating a character based on those storyboards and animatic. From there, I break down how I usually approach a 2D character that will be brought into After Effects using Photoshop. So as you can see here, I'm just creating the basic character turnaround, covering all the essentials, and then from that, creating a, an armature, a vector-based armature in Photoshop that can then be colored and modified and adjusted until it looks right. From there I demonstrate some of my methods for combining scanned or photographic images into the character design itself and how to adjust those in Photoshop using adjustment layers and various other techniques. I then polish everything up and show you how to refine some of the layer masks to make them look a little more convincing when using natural textures and then flattening everything out and converting it into a format that's ready for After Effects. Once in After Effects, I'm going to use a number of different techniques to create a stop motion look to the character. Many of the techniques used in this particular puppet are a lot simpler than some of the stuff I did with the CO2 character. Uh, this may mean it's a little less daunting for some beginners or intermediate users to get in there and start making some puppets. I will also revisit and refine some of the techniques I demonstrated when creating the nano character, such as this one here with the rotating head. It's really just an illusion created using animated masks and a texture layer. So as you can see, I'm just scrubbing through it. You can see this is an animated mask. And when you break down the camera, you can see that there's just a whole bunch of different layers that are actually rotating around a null object and this creates the illusion of a three-dimensional head. I've also got the hair here reacting to the angle of her head so that when she's looking up the gravity affects the direction of her hair and there she is her dress is all rigged up and moving it's probably the most complex piece of cloth I've ever done and it seems to work relatively well. Some of the big differences between this video and the other videos I've done will be that there are multiple puppets involved, not just one. This puppet you're seeing right now is a side puppet, but I'll also be addressing a front three-quarter puppet and a back three-quarters and how to easily swap them out while you're animating without disrupting the character's overall movement. Once all that's covered, I will show you some of my different approaches to animating various scenes and then actually get into building backgrounds and lighting and final compositing. It's lots and lots to cover. I'm just going to record as much as I can while I finish this project and as each phase is completed I will put up a video for you so you can see how it's done.